In this nine hole vlog, you're gonna see one of the most pure golf courses in all of Minnesota. Start, let's go. Bam! I got a guess with me today, so this. This is Deacon's Lodge. Red stake drop back in, you'll be just fine. Yeah. Goes right, it's a lot of room right, I think, eh? Yeah. To miss. Slope. Yeah, Slope I think I'm just right. gonna, I think just aim at the 150 and kind of let it fly. Yep. And I cut it. Should be fine though. Yeah. We're fine. Oh no, you're good. Yeah. Good start. Welcome back to the channel, and I got a guest with me today. So this is Sean. Howdy, everybody. Um, so Sean and I met each other when I basically first started doing social media, kind of been talking ever since. Um, met for the first time in person at the Masters, which was kind of cool. That was awesome. And uh, then we kind of planned this little trip. I was kind of coming out to North Dakota and then got a hold of him and just out now out in Brainerd. So we're at Deacon's Lodge today. So Sean's played here. How many times have you played here? Probably about a dozen. So he knows the course quite well, and he's going to kind of walk me through, give me some advice, some tips on how to play the golf course, how to play some holes. My first time here, so first time here, course rating 74, playing like almost just under 7,000 yards, so we'll say 7,000. So I always give myself about three or four strokes. So I think today, if I can break 75 today, I think that's a really good round. But 77, I'd still be happy with, but let's try and break 75. All right, guys, so we found the fairway for the first time and first hole, so that's a good start. Uh, I got 100 and. 80 yards on the nose I'm gonna hit a six iron kind of right in between clubs right now I think if I was 175 you full seven if I was 185 it'd just be like a normal six so I'm gonna try to get a six iron take a little bit off of it oh big block huge block left you'll be fine it's fine but wow well that's exactly where the divot was going I had the worst rating session in my life, so I don't really expect it much today. I think that was half half of it just due to the golf balls. <laughs> they definitely don't have the best range balls. No. Just so you guys know, Madden's was my we played classic at Madden's yesterday. Super beautiful course. That was my first golf round ever in Minnesota. Today's my second ever round in Minnesota, so Sean's breaking my Minnesota golf cherry and uh Playing some good courses up north. Some very good courses here. If you guys ever want, like, from what I see right now, this is a super cool golf destination in Brainerd to come and do, like, a golf trip. All right, so a little dewy this morning. We almost hit the green, just uh, three, four feet off the green. Just going to have to chip something up there somewhere close. Try to get inside that four-foot circle and give yourself a good look up. Should break a little bit to the right. I'm um, taking that all Great day, chat. every day. Mine's it good? Yep. It's good? It's one foot. One foot? I'm calling you good. I'll take it if you're going to give it to me. Thank you. That's a par to start the day off. Let's go. Great start. Thank you. I can chip like that all day. We're going to shoot low. So where, the, where they're at, yeah, might be a good starting line for you. If you mm -hmm. nice, your nice high draw, that'll bring you back more towards that right. Can I just take it right down the right side? Like yeah, according to yep. this, like yep, absolutely. You definitely want to favor the right side because if you went straight, you're gonna you're gonna I go through. I should have brought my range finder to see how far those trees are. But where they're at up there, that's I'm just guessing about two. That middle, go up that middle hill maybe. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. With the draw, and you'll be yeah. perfect. You hear the man. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm going to kind of take it just right over the middle of the sand trap in front of you here and hopefully hit a draw off that. Bingo. Couldn't have hit it better. I mean, that was, that was that exactly was as scripted. Well. Yeah. Man, it's so much easier when you get a caddy. Good swing. Thanks. That is pretty damn good car golf. That is great car golf. <laughs> and we're going to go low today, I think, because Got, got Sean giving me all the pointers on what to do. Start off the par, 
hit the perfect drive on two. On a par just five. under 250 here, so yeah. we hit that about two, 300. So you are gonna love this. So it's, split, it's a split fairway. Just can't go left or right. <laughs> no, uh, if you keep it probably like right around at the 150 stake, um, it'll actually funnel down. So you so, want to miss right? Um, I'm honestly thinking of laying up. I guess if I hit a four iron and I'm just short, it shouldn't be too bad. At 230 to the front, if you can even hit something 220, that'd be a four iron. Um, hit a four iron. But if you go right over the trees, is that dead? Yeah, that's where you don't want to go too far. Well, if you're going to go for it, I'm going to lay up. Yeah, absolutely. Sad to say that I'm doing that, but there's where my yeah. divot was. So like, nope. this is all carry, guys. I got 249 in. It's in a five iron. Just trying to take it kind of just left of that 150 and hopefully hit it straight. Or pull it. Didn't hit trees, so maybe we're lucky. Yeah. See if we can find it. It's sloping away from us so you can kind of be aggressive. Okay. So use the backstop? Yeah. Not a huge backstop, but just enough to... Okay, guys, we got 70 yards. Just luckily it stayed in just a little bit here, so let's take advantage of the break and hit a good shot. Kind of want to be... It looks like you want to be short. A little short if you can. Yep, yep yeah. if you can. Okay, so just don't be too aggressive with it. 70 yards downhill. I'm going to play about 65. Or a lot short, maybe? No, you'll be fine. Uphill putt coming. Okay. That's what you wanted. All right, we got a birdie putt. Let's go get yep. one. I'm a big fan of laying up because of exactly what I did. So I was telling Sean that when I lay up, it's almost like I'm trying to be too perfect and then I just end up yanking it right. So sometimes being aggressive and going for it, it's sometimes better. Still got a birdie putt. I do. All right, this is a gettable putt. A little bit closer would have been nice, but uphill can be aggressive with it. It's just going to go a hair to the left. I got it two, three balls out to the right. What a start! Let's go! Damn! Woo. I can make putts again. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, coming off the birdie, we got a par 3, again I don't really like the yardage, it's 182 so I'm kind of right in between clubs. I'm going to try to hit a 7 iron, try to get up there. Short looks a little favorable so short's fine. Again I pulled it just like that 5 iron over that bunker. Yeah, you're fine. I'm fine, holy. Well, I mean, it'll just be <laughs> a chip, it'll just be a, it'll be a, I mean, Chip in a putt. <laughs> okay. Afternoon, probably. Yeah, if I knew this would funnel, I would just hit it up here and let it come back down. I just don't know if it will. I don't, yeah, I don't. But think I still think landing it up here and just letting it trickle and letting yep. it do its thing. Yep. That's, that's, that's the approach. We'll just see how it comes out because this is, this is deep. Hit it. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Right. Yeah. It sounded like it came out pretty clean. It came out pretty clean. I just, I would normally that kind of shot. I'd like to like actually get it up high. Yeah. I just didn't bother. I just kind of closed down the face and just tried to pop it. It missed on the right side of the, the left side of the, the right side of the cup. Yeah. Right? So it kind of funneled back to your. <clears throat> but downhill, this I'm going. You know, I'm kind of. It's kind of flat, right? Yeah. It's not super downhill. No. You know, somewhere probably. I'm guessing. But it came right. this way, right? Like I missed here, or did I miss on that side? No, it came. Oh, no, 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 you're right. I'm sorry. on this side. Yep, yep, you're right. I'm sorry. Right, so, so, yep. Maybe left edge coming back, or right edge coming back? Yeah. Don't want to bogey up for a birdie. It's pretty good stroke. There we go. Good pot. We can putt like this all day. Whoo, baby. Yep. All right, guys. One under through three. Getting some help from Sean, so it's actually making it a lot more enjoyable to play a course for the first time, kind of knowing what to do. If you guys like this, hit that subscribe button, smash that like, comment what you think I'm going to shoot, and if I would be a lot worse though, Sean. Didn't hit it. Yeah, this here, is but it's a challenging tee shot. Hit a two iron here. Hopefully we. Hit a good one. Dang. Bah. That's not really the two shot you want. You guys seen this channel before? Um, 
just playing a good, good job, playing everything as hazard. So go up to where we think it went in. Well, it's actually kind of open on the right there, but I think I'm, oh, yeah. I think More I'm right. I think I'm right, right at that. But I'll wait. Actually, a lot open. I don't know. I might get lucky and find it, but we'll take a look. We're taking a drop, and this ball is well above my feet, so I gave myself a pretty bad lie. So we're even. I'm hitting three. It's got a five iron. I'm playing at like 150, and it's going to try to punch, run something up that hill. Bingo. Great shot. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, I'm actually surprised myself. Wow. Well, is right. <laughs> <laughs> Just short. Kind of rolled off the front here. This could be a putt, but let's see if we can mimic the chip on one. Should go just a touch to the right again. Hit Stop. It. Just caught that a little thin. Okay, we got a putt to make. We don't want to make doubles. It's going to go hard to the left. We're one under right now. This is to stay at even. We don't want big numbers. Doubles are card breakers. So 21 footer for bogeys. <laughs> really ideal, but we still got to make. Not as slippery as I thought. Yeah. We'll kind of just tap it in. Double, one over. So that's the psychology stuff with golf. It's like you hit a good shot and you think you got a, okay, I got a par putt. Worst I'm probably gonna make is bogey. And now you gotta try to get, either chip it in for par or get up and down for bogey. And then you thin it like I did. And it's golf, so those little things, right? To try, like that plays in your mind. Yeah. So when you hit that last shot, that little knock down 500. Yeah. One, one, 150. 50. Couldn't have thought it was any better. No, I thought, I thought was... you were going to have like a 10 footer. So did I. You know, and then you get up there, you see there's a false front, and it just didn't cook you quite enough, and now you're on the front of the green. You played it like 12 times, you didn't tell me about the false front. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, did you see where that landed? No, I did not see it. I didn't even see it off your club. So, you know the white dead birch that has been our line? Yeah. There's another birch. Yeah, that one on the right of it. I landed on that, and okay. honestly, I think That's I'm in, the line. in very good shape. So, Yeah, so we took a little drive up there, and there, if you can see that dead birch in the distance, you don't want to be left of that. So there's room right of it, so I'm going to try to aim just right of it with a little bit of a draw. I suck at golf right now. No, you don't. No, that's fine. Look at the roll on that thing. Yeah. All right. Jesus. I almost missed that ball. There you go. Like, there's a scratch golfer to a tee. <laughs> we don't always hit good shots. We hit a lot of them, but we hit some pretty bad ones too. And you've seen the last two tee shots have been pretty bad. So, yeah, that's, uh, that is what it is. Just going to not do it again and hopefully I can still make par here. This is pretty bad, but I got to lay up on a par four. So the green is... It's way over there. I can't actually go at it. So I'm gonna have to lay up. I got like 240. 260 plus, yeah, 240 in. So hopefully we have 100 yards or somewhere between the 130 and the 100 after this. Should be just fine. Good swing. Thanks. That was, that, that was, that felt so bad laying up on a par four. 147 playing 141. Okay, so this is going to be like a little knockdown nine iron into the wind. So we can play at 145. That's going to funnel back to the right, though. Oh, you stuck it. Well, I had the yard. It just pushed a little bit. Yeah. Golf's, golf's pretty hard, but especially if you can't hit the ball at the tee, it's really hard. Um, yeah, the one thing about playing courses for the first time is like just trying to keep the ball in play. If you can keep the ball in play, it's way more enjoyable. And I'm sure you guys all know that if you're finding balls or searching for it, golf's not that much fun. So we're sh we're grinding here. We got like a long par putt for par, so it's doable. Let's it's go make one. Yeah, pretty flat up there. Yep, definitely flattens this out. This is just one of those putts where it's kind of have to. Hopefully, you pick the right line. I think because it's going to break hard left. Get the pace right, and hopefully, it falls in. Pace is right. Good roll. I'm not too disappointed with that. Again, just a bad tee shot. Cost me a stroke and another bogey. So hit a better tee shot and it's an easy par. Hey, we're two over now. 
double bogey then a bogey so let's get off this train let's get back in the pars and birdies Okay, so you said 109 playing 112. Yep. So we are, again, in between clubs like it has been all day. So coming off that double and then the bogey, let's just make a par. Actually, I don't even think about the score. Let's just make a good swing. We got a gap budge from 112. It's going to smooth it. That's the swing. Oh, beauty. I don't know if that's long or is it good or... Yeah, I don't know either. All right, that swing felt good. Just gonna try to stay relaxed, kind of right the ship here and uh, just try to get back on making pars and give myself some birdie luck. So let's make some good swings is all I can do, but I think we're long here. We're all yeah, good, thank you. I think we are long. Yeah, we're both all right back. Oh man, so now let's get up and down. Let's go grind. Okay, so after kind of coming up here, we were just talking, I think it was, it might've been just a full sandwich. You got about seven yards, eight yards in front of the pin, which probably could have been a perfect sandwich, but that's what happens when you play a course the first time and you don't really know everything about it. Now we got to grind and get up and down here. All right, did not check at all and we got to make a putt, let's go. You saw the way yours rolled, right? Yeah, I don't think it's gonna go much. Nah. Like I'm thinking maybe just out here. Yep. I'm gonna go ball outside right. Make a good stroke. There we go. Bingo. There we go. Good stroke. Okay, that felt good. Made another par off that train. Seven. Full seven, 432 yards. Pretty cool tee shot. You got all this marsh area to the right, all hazard, but there's a big red stake out there. It's 264 yards away. The furthest point of the hazard is 319, and they go through the fairway is like 330. So I think if I just take it right at that red stake, hit it straight, we're good. Hit a draw, we're still okay. Perfect. I don't think I, that one was pumped. Gotta love hitting good drives. That one was hit really well. Giving myself now a chance to get on there, do like a good look to get on the green, hit one close and go make a bird. So hopefully we're completely away from that bad train. Let's keep the ship going. Let's go make at least one birdie here in the last, last few holes and let's get this back to one over. What do we got? 98. 98? 98. Okay, a little 54 knock down here. Can I go, I can go long? No, not really, eh? Um, you, yeah, I would, looks like if you miss anywhere, miss a little right. Uh, being right is okay. If you hit that, if you come up just slightly short for okay. some reason and hit that uh, hill on the right, yeah. it will funnel back down to the left. Okay. 54, little knockdown, control the spin here. Let's go flag hunting. Flag hunting, let's go, be close. Beautiful. There we go. Perfect. Couldn't get much better. What's your favorite yardage? Like if you get to pick like, you know, like if I stepped up to this yardage, I'm gonna hit a good shot. It's usually my seven iron. Yeah. But although I have to admit, like my- What height. yardage is that? Uh, 165. Okay. Little eight, nine footer for bird. These are the ones like mentally that I actually kind of struggle with because it's like almost at that distance where you think you, you should be making these, like not all the time, but these are the ones like you don't get a lot of looks at these in a round. Yeah. Right. So. Yep. The birdie attempt from like inside ten feet. Um, what feels like it should be a makeable putt. Yeah. Like I'd rather. Sometimes it's almost better when I'm like 15, 18 feet out, and I, I'm more confident. It's like okay, like it's not a for sure make, but yeah. But I'm gonna go just kind of just a ball outside left here. And broke ah. too much. Just That's what right. I was talking, I think I talked myself into missing that, to be honest. Dang, that was a good stroke. I thought I picked the right line. I know I'm not the greatest ball striker. I'm not the most accurate off the tee, but I feel like putting, I feel like I could putt with them. Sure. I feel like I can. And so like, I always try to compare myself to tour average. So like the next time I get like an eight, nine footer and like you need, like this has to be in now. Yeah. This has to drop. Yeah. So, 
I have made some putts today though. But Yo, for sure. The that's one I that's what I want back. Yep. I'm just gonna take it down the left side. As far down that left side as possible. I think if I aim just inside the tree line, eh? Yes. Yep. And instead of draw off that? Yep. Gives me all the all the room in the world. Yeah. Yep. I didn't see it. I see you looking right. I know the line. Is it okay? Um, we'll see. Did it's, it hook? So, see the car, the cart path kind of yeah. has a little bit of sun on it, just a little sliver of it up yeah. by itself. It's in that line. Yeah, it was a, that was a, <clears throat> it started center. Just snapped it. Dang, you're talking before that tee shot. You're like, oh, should I just hit like a three wood? Yeah. Golf's so mental. Like, if you just step up and just swing and just, just don't care because like if you go to a simulator i've gone to a simulator before and you just you literally just swing and for some reason i just hit the ball and it goes literally pretty much where i want it to go because you have no fear but when you come out to a course you got all the bunkers you got the hazards you got the trees everything plays in your mind and it's trying to block that stuff out because like i shouldn't i should not be snap hooking the ball guys i had to take a drop we couldn't find it so we're hitting three we got 107 in <laughs> It's gotta make a good swing. Let's go. Not swinging the club well today, so we're just gonna be grinding. <clears throat> just a touch long, but just on the back of the green. Oh man. So, pretty decent distance I had there. You got one, four, seven, ten, like a 12 footer, 15 footer here for par. Just on the green, straight downhill. And it's gonna be going hard to the left. I don't know if I can stop this ball if it doesn't hit the hole. This could be 10 easy, 10 feet by. Do it, do it, do it. Let's go. Good putt. What a par with a drop. Good putt. Woo. Oh, had the heart go on there. Can you take this one down the left side at all? Um, you, Not really. Eh? No, no. Yo. Oh, tons of room. Yeah. Okay, so. Yeah, tons of room. It's, it's wider than it looks. I could aim down the tree line and hit a draw. Yes. Okay. And to have the best angle in the green is kind of, I guess, middle? Center. Center. Yep. Okay. If you can be in the center, that'd be perfect. Okay. You asked for a straight ball, right? Yep. A little five yard draw on it. That's, that's actually, it. Perfect. I'll say it's perfect. Good. Felt good. Hit the middle of the face. I think the worst thing you could ask someone to do is hit a straight ball. <laughs> like how hard how hard is it to hit a ball straight? Well, you're, that's that's to me that's a straight ball. If it only drives if it only drops five yards. Yeah. That's a straight ball. I know, but like holy like because you're normal naturally. I probably like, hit like a ten to fifteen yard draw. Yeah. 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 So you took a lot off of it. Yeah, for me that's about as straight as it's gonna get. Yeah, you're not gonna see it on the camera on the approach shot, but I'll, I'll be able to see it. Yeah, 250 in. Dang, these, these so, par fives are legit here. Yeah. You heard the conversation, the cart. I'm just gonna hit an eight iron up the right side. This is where my ball landed, and this is where I got. I got 243 to the pin. I actually hate that yardage because my two irons like 250 here probably, and my four irons like 220, so 225. So I don't think I really have the club to do it. Eight, eight iron. Aim with their carts, have a little wedge in. Bingo. I hit a layup. Me hitting layups is like the hardest shot in golf, so <laughs> I'm taking that. All right, guys, we got 92 yards. It's gonna be a little knocked down 54. It's kind of same thing as two holes ago. I had 97 or something, so it's a little less. Troll the spin. Let's go flag hunting. Oh, get on it. Be good. Get on it. Great shot. Okay, just a little nice deep, shot. but it's solid and right on top of the flag. So this plan for this hole is kind of playing out exactly how I kind of said. It's just simple golf, not really trying to be too aggressive, but uh, it's a good shot. I got like another 15 footer here for birdie. So let's go make one. 16 feet for bird. Should go just a touch to the right, downhill. 
I got like a one or two balls out to the left. Are you good with that? Yep. Yeah? Yep. I mean, somewhere in here. Yeah, that's exactly where I got it. Yeah. A little outside that. But yep, I see it. Okay, come on. This is for one over on the front nine. Stay up, stay up, stay up. I think yeah. I just pulled it off the face a little bit. Obviously didn't hit it hard enough either. But hey, par to finish out the front, three straight pars and two over with a double and a bogey. It's not too bad. Hey, thanks for tuning in for the front nine here at Deacon's Lodge, the signature course. And uh, thanks for Sean for helping out. It's been, uh, it's been a lot easier playing this course, kind of getting some guidance, especially playing courses for the first time, having blind tee shots. It's super challenging. As you guys know, going to new courses and not knowing your way around, it's difficult. So it's been a lot more fun having Sean here today. And if you guys like this, smash that subscribe button. Stay tuned for the back nine. It's coming next week. Let's go.